Number one asks us to find all expressions that are equivalent to 8 plus 16i. So let's just go ahead and distribute part A, distribute this 2 in. So 2 times 4 is 8, and then 2 times 8i is 16i, and that's exactly what we have there. So this is an equivalent expression. B will distribute the 2i in um, to the 8 and to the negative 4. So 2i times 8 is 16i, and then 2i times negative 4i is negative 8i squared. And then remember that i squared is equal to negative 1. So negative 8 times negative 1 is just positive 8. So then we have 16i and a positive 8i. So this is positive 8 and a positive 16i. So this is an equivalent expression. C will multiply in the 4 to both pieces. So 4 times 2i is 8i. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. So we've got an 8i, but this one is a 16i, so this is not an equivalent expression. D, let's multiply the 4i in. So 4i times 4 is 16i. 4i times negative 2i is negative 8 i squared, and then i squared is just negative 1, so this is going to be plus 8. And so then we see that we have um, a positive 8 and then a positive 16i, so then this one is equivalent. And then our final one here, distribute this negative 2i in. So negative 2i times negative 8 is positive 16i. And then negative 2i times negative 4 is plus 8i squared. And then the negative 1 times 8 will be negative 8. So then we'll have a negative 8 plus 16i. So that one is not equivalent since negative 8 doesn't match positive 8. Number two, which expression is equivalent to this one? So in the last screen, I was distributing some um, monomials in. So I'm going to do that here as well. So I'm going to take this negative four times each of these pieces. And you can do this in the box method if you'd like. But negative four times two is negative eight. Negative four times negative seven i is plus 28i. Then I'll distribute the 3i in. So 3i times 2 is 6i. And then 3i times negative 7i is negative 21i squared. And then we know that i squared is negative 1. So negative 21 times negative 1 is positive 21. So then when we go to combine like terms, we have negative 8 plus 21 is positive 13. And positive 28 plus, sorry, positive 28i plus 6i is plus 34i. So then we see that in part D. Number three, match the equivalent expressions. Um, so you're kind of going to have to manipulate both sides here. So for this one, for part A, we've got I squared, which is really negative 1. So then we're going to multiply that negative 1 in. So we get negative 3 minus I for this one. For part B, we get negative 20 I squared when we multiply those. And then i squared is negative 1. So negative 20 times negative 1 is just positive 20. For part C, we get 20i when we distribute this in. 20i and negative 15i squared. And then remember, i squared is negative 1. 
So this is just going to be a positive 15, which is now a real part. So I'm going to write it first and that 20i. And then in this last one, um, you can put this in the box. I'll actually put this one in the box since I distributed on the last screen. So let's look at this one in the box. So 1 and 2i times negative 1 and 3i. So this will be negative 1, negative 2i, positive 3i, and 6i squared. Then remember that i squared is negative 1. So this is really negative 6. So you have negative 6 and negative 1 is negative 7. And then you have negative 2i and positive 3i. So that's plus 1i. So that's for this one. So d is negative 7 plus i. So now we're going to have to simplify the ones over here to match them up. Um, so here, we're let's distribute this negative in first. And then we have 3n negative 10 is negative 7. And we have 5i and negative 4i is 1i. So this one matches D. Um, number 2, we're multiplying. So in the box like this. So let's put this one in the box down here. Or you can distribute. So we've got 2 and 4i. And we've got 2 and negative 4i. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4i is 8i, 2 times negative 4i is negative 8i, and then negative 4i times 4i is negative 16i squared. 8i and negative 8i is 0. Negative 16 times i squared, so i squared is negative 1, so this is going to be positive 16. 4 and 16 gives us 20 for this one, which matches part B over here. Um, number 3, we are just adding like terms. So 1 and negative 4 is negative 3. Negative 4i and positive 3i is 1i. Um, sorry, negative 1i. So this one will match a negative 3 plus negative i. So that's number, or that goes with part a up here. So then that leaves number 4 to go with c. Um, so if you don't feel like doing it, you can just match it up. Um, otherwise, we're going to distribute this negative in first. So I'm going to change this to a plus and change these to opposites. Negative 16 and positive 21 is 15. 12i and positive 8i is 20i. And then we can see it does match letter C. Number four, write each expression in the form a plus bi. So remember, this is wanting the real part first and the i's second. So let's distribute this negative um, in. So remember, it's like a negative 1. So this is going to be negative 2 and negative 5i. So then the real part is negative 8 and negative 2, which is negative 10. The imaginary part is plus 3i and plus negative 5i. So 3i and negative 5i is negative 2i. Part B will distribute this 7i in. So 7i times 4 is 28i. 7i times negative i is negative 7i squared. Remember, i is negative 1, so negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7. And then writing it in this form, we'll write the real part first, which is positive 7, the imaginary part second, which is a positive 28i. Part C, we've got... 3i cubed. So if we did 3i times 3i times 3i, which is what 3i cubed means, we'd have 3 cubed and we'd have i cubed. 3 cubed is 27. And then for i cubed, I'm going to write it as i squared times i. 
because we know that I squared is negative one. So this will give us negative 27i. And then if we wanted to write it um, in this form, we probably could do zero plus, or sorry, zero minus, since it's negative 27i. So zero minus 27i. Um, part D, you're gonna multiply these together. So I'm just gonna distribute. So three times four is 12. Three times three i is nine i. Five i times four is 20 i. Five i times three i is 15 i squared. Recognizing that i squared is negative one. So then this is gone and you have a negative 15. So then 12 and negative 15 is negative three. 9i plus 20i is plus 29i. And then the final one here. So we've got 3i times negative 2i times 4i. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. And then we have i times i times i. So that's i cubed. So then I like to write i cubed as i squared times i because I know that i squared is negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 24 is positive 24. So then we have positive 24i. And then if you wanted to write it in the form a plus bi, that'd be 0 um, plus 24i. Number five, here is a method for solving this equation. Does the method produce the correct solution? Explain how you know. So they subtracted 10 from both sides and got negative four. Then they squared both sides and got five plus X equals 16. Then subtracted five from both sides to get 11. Um, and this will not produce a correct solution because the square root of a number cannot equal a negative. So there aren't any real solutions. There aren't any solutions to this equation because a square root can equal a negative. Then number six, write each expression in the form a plus bi. So we'll distribute this four here. So we get 12 minus four i. And then that's all the way simplified. Part B, we're just adding. So we're just gonna add like terms. So 4 plus 12, or sorry, 4 plus 8 is 12. And then 2i plus negative 2i is 0. So then this is just 12. And if you wanted, I suppose you could do 12 plus 0i. Depends on kind of what your teacher is expecting. Part C, we're multiplying these binomials. So you could do that in the box or you can do distributing. So I'll just do the box over here. Um, so we've got 1 plus 3i times 4 plus i. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3i is 12i. 1 times i is i. And then i times 3i is 3i squared. Recognizing that i squared is negative 1. So this will be negative 3. So then combine our real parts. So we have 4 and negative 3 is 1. And then our imaginary parts, 1i and 12i is 13i. Part D, we'll just distribute this, this i in. So we have 3i plus 5i squared. So then this 5i squared, i squared is negative 1, so that's going to be negative 5. And then that's our real part, so we'll write it first. So negative 5 plus 3i. And then part E, multiplying. So 2i times 7i is 14i squared. The i squared is negative 1, so we're just going to get negative 14. And then again, if necessary, you can write plus 0i.